We're talking Google Parent Alphabet today. Uh, stock's just below all-time highs. It's had a good run so far this month. It's been uh, up over 40% from year-ago levels to Kevin. And then Wedbush comes out, puts a $175 price target from $160 on the stock, said it is on their best ideas list. I, I don't disagree yeah. that Google Alphabet is probably the cheapest of the Magnificent Seven. As far as valuation? Yeah, yes, hands but down. here's the problem. Yeah. Right? Here's what you got to be careful with. If you are the most powerful in your sector, 90% search, 95% search, whatever, is the Department of Justice going to come after them? They already, they, they they already are. are. They already have a, a exactly. lawsuit against them. Yeah. Exactly. So there, there, there's risks out there for this, but you're right. Everything that they're doing, and the more people, the more dominant you are in, say, search, it's going to bring in customers, and what and what do customers bring in? Advertisers, right. and they they, ha, they have probably the largest market share of advertising right now. Thirty nine percent market share is Google Alphabet. Number two is Meta at what? Eighteen percent. Right. They're massively dominating uh, digital advertising. So. They've got a great future. I don't doubt it. I think the overall market risk is what may affect them. But that being said, th this company is one, one of the cheapest of the Magnificent Seven. Yeah, uh, I think the forward uh, price to earnings ratio, 21, that's quite affordable compared to yeah. a lot of the other ones in there. And you do you think that advertising dollar is going to go lower during a an election year? Oh. Never. Never had, does it go lower during an election year. So uh, that's going to be a good prospect for them. But on this best ideas note, it was Dan Ives and another uh, analyst there. Competitive uh, advantages are multifaceted, which means, hey, they've got 90% of the search market right now. Yeah. That's not going away anytime soon. Even though chat GPTs, Bing competitors out there keep saying they're going to be able, you know, it's going to be better. Google's working on their BARD. Right? Yeah. Their Gemini, uh, their next iteration of that, even though they made some big misste missteps. But the stock's doing well, Kevin. Google Cloud revenue up 26% year over year. So they're getting all the AI things that they're doing is leading to the cloud, making their numbers better there. They were, I think, second place after Azure. Uh, Amazon was in third place in terms of cloud mm -hmm. uh, revenue growth. So they're doing better there. So Listen, Google Alphabet is going to do all these things right eventually, but they are these big firms. The, the new narrative coming out is if you're too big, are yeah. they coming after you? Yeah. And the answer is yes with Google Alphabet. Now it's yes with Apple. Yeah, if Who's got, next? Walmart? Amazon? If you've got too big Microsoft? of a share, right. Yeah. I mean, all these companies that are doing such big business they're they're all going to be in the you know they're all going to be in the eyeballs. Yeah, lawyers are happy. Fines yep. going to get paid. EU Lobbyists, yeah, lawyers. EU Digital uh, Markets Act that's coming on board here. You know about uh, companies with compliance about uh, monopolization. Uh, you know not letting competitors in. Google's got that on top of the Department of Justice. Uh, you know accusations on that side of it also. But that might take years uh, to kind of pan out.